All right, count train, open 20.1, 10 rounds of eight ground overhead, 10 bar face and burpees. We'll dive into some movement prep first, and then we'll talk through our strategy. All right, guys, we're gonna jump into the burpees first as this is the majority of the workout. 100 bar face and burpees inside this workout. So Alan's gonna demo some bar face and burpees, and we really recommend the step up burpee for this effort. Let's see some four reps from Alan. Nice and reserved pace. This is a nice, gradual, sustainable, I'll do 100 bar face and burpees inside of a workout phase. Notice the breath at the top. He's nice and relaxed. And relaxed. So, very relaxed, very systematical, but kind of slow. So, how can we move a little bit quicker? Next step's gonna be let's turn in the air. You notice how when Alan jumped over the bar, he was facing when he landed the same way where he jumped from. Let's cut out that. Let's just transition in the air. So I'm going to demo. Let's do four more. Same breathing pace. We're going to turn in the air. Cut out that time. And we need to turn around. Still step up quickly. Still kind of pausing after you trying to get a breath in. A little turn though goes a long way. Again, like 100 burpees, little bits go a long way. The last piece will be, say we're stepping up well. Tight to the bar, we're turning in the air. Now let's cut out that recomposure breath that's at the top. So, what you noticed in the first two was you're taking a breath before he dropped. What if we take that away? Now it's cyclical burpees. Maybe it's our last 10, maybe it's earlier on to start, but they're really fast and really quick. Let's get forward. Now let's turn in the air and then immediately drop. Quick, slow, medium, fast. Naturally, that last burpee that we saw Alan do really fast, not sustainable for all 10 rounds, but we kind of keep those three in mind as we move into the workout. All right, guys, really quick too, you probably noticed we take the floor. So a big goal is staying close to the bar, no wasted motions. Let's create a consistent hand position each and every time for our burpees. Marking the floor with tape or chalk, it can tell me where I put my hands each and every round. Stay close. So strategy on the workout. The overall goal is to push the barbell and pace the burpees. So ideally, unbroken sets in the barbell, then the question is, how fast do we go on the burpees? So three buckets here. Our elites, we're moving at around one minute per round, which you guys saw on uh, the footage with Scott Panchek and Rich Froning. About one minute per round, and as you guys saw, that is unbroken power snatches. We have a choice, ground to overhead, but we know power snatches, faster than clean and jerks. That's why those athletes chose that. Bucket number two is, now it's a little bit slower. Maybe I'm finishing each round on a minute 15. And we wrote down an option, power snatch or clean and jerk. The goal is still to go unbroken on the barbell, pace the burpees. And what that may mean is, maybe I start with power snatches. Then I change to clean and jerks after a couple rounds. Again, unbroken barbell first, and then pace the burpees. Bucket number three is, let's go right to clean and jerks. Same goal, let's try to hold on to it and go unbroken. And kind of recover on the burpees methodically. But if we start to break those up, that's okay too. Let's just pick a spot. Maybe it's five and three, and we're very diligent with our transitions. It's going back to the big picture. For everybody, all three buckets, this is absolutely a pacing workout. So 10 rounds, 100% a pacing effort. And the big temptation is to come out too hot. It's first open workout, totally get it, we're all fired up. It's very easy to bite off too much too soon. We can do ourselves a huge favor by doing full rounds of this workout in our warm up to find that pace. Visualize yourself on round six, seven, eight. How do I feel and move with this eight, 10 combination? Check the clock, rest, do it again. Bracket in so you already have this information for you. That way you can turn your mind off and go. For the full strategy post, check out Comp Train Pro on Sugarwalk. That's open 20.1. Let's go get it.